13 station, Jesus is taken down from the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. The multitudes have left the heights of Calvary and there remain only the beloved disciple and the holy women who at the foot of the cross are striving to bring consolation to Christ's afflicted mother. Joseph of Arimathea and Nicodemus take down the body of her divine son from the cross and lay it in her arms. O Mary, Mother of God, your grief was boundless as an unfathomable ocean. Give us a share in your most holy sorrow for the suffering of your Son, and have compassion on our infirmities. Accept us as your children with the beloved disciple. Show yourself a mother unto us and intercede for us in our necessities. Dear loving children of God, 13th station speaks about the greatness of our Blessed Mother. When we meditate upon the life of our Blessed Mother, from the birth of Jesus till the death of Jesus, our Blessed Mother underwent lot of ridicule and persecutions, a lot of misunderstanding and lot of mental agonies and physical torture. But we also have to look into this. She never ever opened her mouth to speak about her struggles. She never opened her mouth sharing her struggles her brokenness and her difficulties. She always kept everything in her heart and she proclaimed always the glory of God. A blessed mother proclaimed only the greatness of God and the glory of God. She denied completely herself. She emptied herself. She is the best example in this planet for us to follow after Jesus. The one never shares her burdens with others. Look at our own personal life sometimes for a silly reason, for a minute incident, we, we are eager, eagerly waiting to share our burdens with others. We can't hold this in our heart. We can't keep this with our own self. Instead, we want to always share this with others. We want to let other people know that we are having trouble, struggles and difficulties. But our Blessed Mother, she proclaimed only the glory of God, the greatness of God. Never ever she spoke on her struggles and difficulties. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Have mercy on us, Holy Mother. Imprint on my heart the sacred wounds of the crucified Lord. 